Today has been a super frustrating day for me. I've tried to do work, I've tried to be productive and it just hasn't come off. I've sat down and it just hasn't worked and I feel agitated and annoyed with myself, but also just annoyed with the state of jobs right now in the world. And there's three reasons that I really think that jobs have a significant impact on our chances of success when we're trying to quit porn and masturbation. Number one is posture. Sitting down like on a chair for like eight hours a day is just such an unnatural thing to do. Like our bodies are just not designed to do that. And posture has scientifically been proven to have a massive impact on our mood. So if we're just sat down all day, then we're obviously gonna end up feeling like lazy and frustrated and wanting to get up and move because we are meant to move. We're, we're human beings. Like we just have not evolved to be sat down in some like weird ass position like all day long. That's just not what we're meant to be doing, right? Number two is the people that you surround yourself by at work. Now, I'm quite lucky that I work with some really nice, good people who have a similar passion for helping the world that I do. However, despite them sharing that vision, I just don't think I have that much in common with a lot of them. The thing is that I think a lot of them actually have families. And so they're just in a completely different, like, time in their life right now. So like some of them have already had a lot of success in their career or they own the company themselves, right? Or they're like directors. And so their priority is just so different to mine. Anyway, point number three is often our jobs are not really aligned with who we are as a person and we're not really fulfilling our potential. And that is so, so frustrating. It's really, really agitating. I'm finding that most difficult in my job right now. Today, I was actually editing a video that I recorded with a woman last week um, as part of my job. And the podcast was ironically on employee well-being, which is ironic because I'm obviously talking about my lack of emotional well-being today at work. But anyway, um, she was a nurse and what she got annoyed by was like patients coming to her with the same sort of problems like stress, anxiety, depression in the workplace. And so she created a company where she goes and prevents those problems from starting in the first place. And it got me thinking, well, I'm so concerned about pornography and the impact that that has on people's mental health, but I'm kind of focusing on the problem once it's already happened. But how about preventing it? Because over the next few years, my goal is to ultimately help as many people as possible, like overcome pornography and no longer have the problem that they have. But then there's going to be another thousand or two thousand or probably millions of children who then get addicted to porn once again. I could like create a video which talks about the harmful impact of porn on children. And then I could send it off to all the schools in my local area and be like, look, this is a serious problem. This is going to affect your pupils' grades and it's going to affect their mental health and their life a severe amount. Let me come in and do a talk on this and say how harmful it is and actually how they can avoid it and avoid getting addicted and how they need to like treat themselves with kindness and explore their sexuality in maybe different ways. And I could probably make money from that one, but more importantly, that's going to like massively help humanity in the world. So I guess what I'm trying to get at here is that we all have a purpose and skills and talents and ways in which we can help the world. And so we want to align our jobs with that purpose and that core and that thing that we're passionate about as much as possible. That's just one idea I had today when I was working on this podcast. And that's something I'm going to do. So wow, I need to calm down. I'm talking so fast. <laughs> But yeah, I'm, I'm passionate about all this stuff. You know, I, I just want to do something which is going to make a difference. And some days I feel like I'm just wasting away and I'm just decaying and I'm not really fulfilling my purpose. And so, and so when that happens, I feel frustrated and agitated. And that's how you can end up looking at porn because you want that novelty, you want that excitement, you want a thrill of something and you want to escape your frustration often with yourself and maybe just your situation in life and, and that's why your job and working in a job that's not really in alignment with your purpose will lead to you watching porn. What's the solution? Well number one to fix posture I'm going to try and do as much work as I can without having to sit down so you know maybe get a standing desk. Uh, we can't, there's some things that are just going to be outside of our control or, or really hard to overcome. Number two with the people thing um, I mean, be grateful for the talents that the people in your organization do have. 
And if you are surrounded by people who are demotivated and, you know, just Jeffries, be kind to them and help them, maybe help them learn and grow and also see them as examples of people that you don't want to be like. I don't think I really work with any Jeffries at my company, um, but, you know, there's a lot of people out there who just have some terrible, terrible habits and they're in a bad place. And instead of like judging them and hating on them, there's things to be learned from them. And then the final thing is obviously just as much as you possibly can, make the most of your time outside of your job and work on what you're passionate about. Talk about what you're passionate about. Try and impact the world as much as you possibly can and use your talents and skills because we all have talents and skills. And there's a burning desire within me to make a big difference, to make a big difference in the world. And hopefully I will, but really I need to put the work in. And I think today, Yes, I was frustrated and agitated with my work and doing some editing, which I really did not want to do. But I think more than anything, I was frustrated with myself for not waking up earlier and doing a video straight away or working out straight away. Instead, I just was a bit lazy, finally did my 20 minutes meditation and then went to work. But I was not as productive as I would have liked and I know I can do better. So we have to be responsible for ourselves because at the end of the day, we all have an opportunity to change our lives. We really do, and we have to make the most of that. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I feel like I've calmed down a lot, so thank you for letting me talk about this and giving me the space to do so. Um, I hope you have enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.